In today's video, I'm taking you inside my boat. I'm gonna show you the compartments in my Skeeter ZXR20. It's my new boat. I haven't done one of these walkthroughs, these boat tours with you guys yet here on YouTube, but today's video is all about taking you inside and seeing how I set up my Skeeter ZXR20. Thanks for clicking on this video and for anybody new, I am Matt Luna and I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a heads up. My boat is a little bit messy right now. I'm out here at Lake Havasu. I'm getting ready for a tournament. Wanted to take about five, 10 minutes and just show you my new ZXR20. I haven't done a boat walkthrough video in a long time and I've never done it for this boat. The only thing on my boat that does not come standard is the Hummingbird Mega Live setup that I have at the console or set up at the front deck and we'll get to that when I get there. But everything else comes standard on the ZXR20. The ZXR20 comes standard with the 250 horsepower Yamaha show engine. That thing gets on pad like no other and it's got good top end speed. The whole shot is great and the top end is good as well. In this boat I'm getting around 71, 70, 72 if everything is exactly dialed in. Not a lot of tackle, not a lot of gas getting up to 72 but getting that 70 to 71 is pretty much an everyday deal a couple other things that you can't see right now that are behind me are two Minn Kota Raptors my last boat had a power pole on it and these Raptors are so much better when you're going down the road if you have power poles you're gonna see those things shaking as you're going down the road but these Raptors do not move whatsoever they got anchor mode and they're gonna steady your boat so that way if wakes come by they automatically will steady everything it's a great feature I can't tell you how many times I've had my my pulls down and they didn't have that feature and a wake would come by and then my boat's moving again but with the Raptors you don't have to worry about that they're going to steady the boat and keep you positioned even with those wakes. The battery component for this ZXR20 is totally different than my ZX225 that I had on my last boat. My last one was a nightmare anytime you had to change batteries or anything like that, but this boat has a redesigned back layout and it's so much better. Back in that battery compartment for the cranking battery, I have an X2 Power Group 31 AGM battery. That thing has not let me down. It always has enough power for those long days out on the water. I went lithium this year for my trolling motor batteries. I got three ionic lithium batteries in the back for my trolling motor system. I absolutely am so stoked with those ionic batteries. I've been fishing long days out in the water and those things never, never let me down. They got tons of power, more power than you can probably use in one day unless you're just burning bank with that 100 amp hours. The cockpit area of the Skeeter is perfect as well. You got nice comfortable seats. I've been in other boat seats and they just weren't comfortable. And when you're making those long runs, you want to be as comfortable as possible, especially if if it's rough water or something like that. You got to at least have some comfortable seats. I like that there's four different cup holders in the console area. I, I think that makes a big difference because sometimes you have to have scent somewhere. Sometimes you want an energy drink and a water out. That way your co-angler can have plenty of stuff out as well. I just like having those four different cup holders. Then we got the cooler right in the middle. I like how it doesn't have the stock pad and then the plastic cover that the older boats had. It's got a nice rubberized one. You can step on it, you can sit on it. Plenty of room in there as well for all your cold drinks and keeping your food cold during those hot days out on the water. Back at the console of the boat, we have Helix 12 units that come standard on this boat. That Helix 12 is great to have at the console because it's a big, big screen. So when you're driving down the lake and you need to have that map up so you can make sure you're not running up on high spots or you gotta get to your waypoint, having a big map up there just seems to help. You can zoom in, zoom out. I really like having that big unit right there at the console. The ZXR 20 has got plenty of storage for your tools and it also has the built-in ruler. Having that built-in ruler comes in clutch because unfortunately we're measuring our fish sometimes. Usually when you're measuring your fish you're gonna have a tough tournament but you gotta try to get five before you can upgrade sometimes. And then I like having that center step to get up on the front deck just keeps you from tripping and stuff like that. It is a nice feature to have that step right there going up to the front deck. Then we also have the day box and the glove box. My glove box has a lot of my sunglasses. It has a lot of my gloves like this, extra face buffs. That's where I put my phone, my wallet, my keys. So that way they won't get wet and they won't fly out of the boat. And then the day box changes all the time depending on what kind of fishing, what kind of conditions I'm fishing. Clear water, dirty water, deep fishing, shallow fishing, top water, spinner baits, chatter baits, it just depends. I really have to go in there and dial in that day box for each tournament, for each trip out to the lake, and that's what I suggest you guys do as well. 
Now getting up to the front deck, I am so glad that Skeeter went away from the team deck and put in a traditional front deck. I like having the rods on the passenger side, I have other rods on the driver's side, and then I have all my tackle down the middle. It also gives me space to store some extra life jackets, to have bumpers for the side of the boat when you're up at the dock, so that way you're not banging up against the dock. I just feel like utilizing the traditional front deck layout just makes a lot more sense, and I think you can only end up storing a lot more stuff as well. Now getting up to the business end of the boat where you're actually fishing, you got a padded front deck up there along with the Minn Kota Ultrex, and then I have the Helix 10 that I run my Mega Live on, and then I have the Helix 9, which comes standard. Usually I have some sort of 2D or down scan along with my mapping on display, so that way I can see everything that I wanna see ahead of me, I can see underneath of me, and then I can position myself on the water depending on what I'm looking for on my mapping. Now when it comes to the live wells on this Skeeter ZXR20, I don't remember the exact amount of gallons that goes into the live well, but let me just tell you, it works really well, keeps my fish alive, also have an oxygenator built into my Skeeter, comes standard on the Skeeter ZXR20 as well. There's plenty of room in this boat for storage. I've got storage in the back two compartments, and in that center compartment where the tackle's designed to go. There's built-in dividers on the ZXR20 that fits the 3700 Plano tackle boxes perfectly. And then I like to put all of my plastics and stuff like that in my six cent bags. And then I just line the outer edge with all my plastics. And then all my hard baits go in the 3700 size Plano boxes right there in those dividers. So you guys know I film everything that I do pretty much. So I need a backpack with all my camera gear. I need storage areas for my jackets when it's cold. And that is great about this Skeeter because in my back two compartments behind the seats I've got jackets I've got life jackets I've got my bags I've got extra tackle I've got plenty of room to get everything I need in this boat well guys it's time to get back to fishing that's my boat that's my Skeeter ZXR20 mine is the 2022 year but the 2023 is set up exactly the same with the same standard features. If you guys are local in Southern California or anywhere close to Southern California and you wanna get yourself a new boat, used boat, need service on your boat, or need to get any add-ons, make sure to go to Last Chance Performance Marine and let them know that I sent you. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.